All right, y'all, I found a really rad custom shop called Callaway Customs, located right outside Paris, Texas, and it's ran by a father and his two sons. In today's video, we start to build on my Trans Am. All right, now that we are here, let me introduce you to the family and the team that's gonna be knocking this bird out of the park. My name is Jason Calloway, kind of the shop foreman here, oldest son, cars are my thing, that's what I do. All right, so today we are putting in, what are we putting in today? A disc brake conversion. Yeah. Yes, we are gonna throw Bears. some disc brakes on it from Bear Brakes. If we drop it about an inch, it's gonna make the tires fill up that wheel well a little bit more and it'll okay. really complete the It'll really, really stance it. It'll and you think we can good. get that without rubbing? Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Definitely, so on the front we've already got coilovers, Detroit speed kit, on the back right now, we just got air shocks and leaf springs. So we'll fix something there, but we can technically lower that back the way it sits as well. That is the tire setup. And I'm gonna tell y'all, I spend hours and hours and hours on the internet trying to find the right tire setup for this car, what would fit, how it's gonna look. Because you know, you buy these tires, you have them mounted, you have them put on. If you don't like the look, guess what? You're out of a lot of coin. And I didn't want the big, you know, 19 or 20 inch wheels that make it look like a modern car. I want to stick with the classic looks. I kind of want to keep it like a sleeper. I want it to look like an old 200. Well, what do these things have factory for horsepower? Do you guys know? Oh, buck 85. Yeah, I was going to say, I think around 200 horsepower. So y'all, you can tell if you know Trans Ams by the back that this is a 79 Trans Am but it's got the 1978 nose. Now I didn't do this, I bought it like this um, and I was happy with it because I like the cat eyes. I love this front end and I really wasn't a big fan of the 79 front end which had the four individual headlights. This was the front end I wanted. Honestly, I kind of like this back end better than the 78 back end so it was really the best of both worlds for me. Now for a collector, this would completely ruin this car. But for a driver, for a pro tour, for someone who's gonna take it around the country and is building a car for them, it's almost perfect. This is our package of brakes. We got them from Bear Brakes, made in America, actually right in Phoenix, Arizona. Almost every single thing they made is made right out of that shop right there. All their own machine tooling and everything else. Now, have y'all installed Bear Brakes before? Yeah. Bears are kind of the top. Top tip. My name is Scott Calloway. It's been a dream of mine to start a business and be able to work with my sons. We all get along great, and I'm going to be happy to leave it to them as a legacy business. Bears are the top tier. Mm -hmm. Bears are really good. Now, did you get the brown bear package, the grizzly bear package, or the polar bear package? Oh, is this the polar bear package so you can drive in the snow? Oh, the polar bear package? No. <laughs> no, the, you had to have bigger wheels for those. Oh, okay. <laughs> Skis, had to do the ski conversion on it. This is actually, I think they call it their classic package. So it's made to go kind of on classic cars. You can run the smaller wheels. You don't have to run the real big wheels. Did you see that look on his face? I, I, like, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know if it was a thing or not. I better get used to that. All right, so we got master cylinder here. New billet master cylinder. Built Very portion cool. valve. Yep. Dot Real four nice. brake fluid. fluid. And then the business end of the deal. Woo. Yeah, it's a good ones. Brand new bear specific spindles, which is pretty cool. Calipers on a rear don't require as much force to work as the fronts do. Typically the front brakes on a car do about 70% of the work. Yep, that's because that weight transfers forward? Yeah. yeah. That's why your front rotors are always bigger than the back rotors. Brand new stainless steel ones. Great lines. Y'all, I cannot tell you how excited I am for this. <laughs> Ride this thing through the mountains on this last trip out to California was sketchy to say the least. I was super nervous. Dad has always been a car guy. He started working on cars and building dirt track cars when he was in high school. Bought a 67 Fairlane GTA. Knocked the windows out of it. Decided that'd be a good race car. It all went downhill from there. We were surrounded by car people most of our lives. We bought a couple project field vehicles just kind of flip and so we could buy a trailer. We wanted a car hauler so bought a couple trucks flipped them real quick made some money to buy a car hauler and then a buddy of dad's called him and said hey i heard you build motors dad's like i mean I, yeah i do build a motor for a guy and uh seven years later i quit we both quit our our full-time careers that we had going on my name is alex calloway i'm the uh i don't know resident dork um parts installer what else do i do I don't even know. No, I, I've been in the automotive industry for a long time. Uh, finally, was able to make the jump out here 
and uh, no, it's been really good. What did we here. quit doing? I worked at uh, dealerships doing photography and parts for like the last 10 years. I quit a career as a machine operator at Kimberly Clark, but someone told me in life that you can't take a gamble on yourself. What's the point of taking a gamble? So one of them things I feel like if I didn't do it, I'd absolutely hate myself. So now it's, I've got two sons. Hopefully I can maybe keep them interested in it. That just gave me chills, man. That is the American dream. That's what family is all about. And the fact that they're sitting here, look at these cars, sitting here, just doing these full restores and builds on these cars together as a family is just super rad. Oh yeah, Woo. pretty. That's nice. It really is. What kind of a bee do you get milk from? Well, oh, I don't know. A booby. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> this is what's happening. Are you, are you getting booed right now? You're getting All booed? The <laughs> it's time. a boo from the boys? Every day, every day. My dad's always telling jokes. If you let him get away with it for too long, he just tells them all day, forever. So you always have to keep him in check a little bit. We grew up with that. It's it's horrible. Like that's why we are the way that we are, is because we had to grow up with that every day. The best thing about dad's uh, dad jokes is he'll forget like day to day and tell them to you two or three times, and you still gotta laugh at the guy because he's when he delivers the punchline, it's all excited. Now, mm -hmm. I'd like to address while we've got it apart little things like if the sway bar bushings are bad or if the sway bar end links weren't replaced when they did the coil over swap, just little stuff like that. Sway bar is, is way, way beefier uh, diameter. It's bigger around than a factory. Factory is probably like three quarters of an inch. This is probably an inch and an eighth. Big the, difference in the handle, in the cornering, in the handling, in the front end. The flat, yeah, keep, really, keep the, the car flat. Body roll. Yep. I can tell the difference when I drive it after we put that front end in. I mean, it drives corners a lot. Better. Oh yeah, yeah. Even my wife noticed. She was like, wow. She's like, this thing really corners tight. Performance. Got the Holly oil pan on there. You bet. Scale of one to 10 underneath the car. How's she look? Is she clean? Is she good? I'm not seeing anything that I'm... It's not beat up. Really pretty nice under here. We need to Thank do... you. I'm excited. We need to do a try. I bought it sight unseen, so I got lucky. Yep. I approve. Yeah, we'll cool. We'll yeah, but as far as the shape, man, the bottom of the thing's uh, really, really good. It is. Every shop needs a good shop dog. Oh, so you ever, you showing your teeth? You showing me your teeth? <laughs> and what's her name? Maggie. Maggie girl. I'm gonna take that master cylinder off and then uh, put that nice billet one on there. Okay, this is what brake fluid is supposed to look like. And that's the brake fluid out of your car. Oh my God. So what kind of problems can happen from something like this? If it absorbs enough water, Brake fluid's hygroscopic. It absorbs water out of the air. It lowers the boiling point of the brake fluid so your brakes will get spongy when it gets hot. And it also, the water will cause contamination, which you can see in there, starting to rust the internal parts. My lines and stuff? Mm -hmm. yeah. My calipers? Yep. Yeah, yeah there's... Pretty nasty. There's, there's, there's rust in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. About two and three quarter. They'd probably call it an 11 inch rotor. Okay. Going to a 13 two inch. 13, heck yeah. Am I susceptible to nosebleeds? Yeah. No. Okay, good. Because when you slam on the brakes on here, the negative g-forces. You just blow it all out <laughs> of your face. <laughs> Spatter my windshield? <laughs> what did the uh, fish say when he ran into a bunch of rocks? What'd he say? Damn, damn. damn. <laughs> Oh my God. And this, my friends, what happens when you're hanging out at Callaway Customs, <laughs> get your car built. <laughs> you leave with all this knowledge. So how far apart in age are you two? Uh, 12 years. 12 years apart? Yeah. But who's older? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the thing with these brakes are, you know, they're not like a... A real sexy thing to add to your car like wheels tires you know uh but boy they are sexy to drive your car it's sexy when you see the red cal or the red calipers behind the yeah the snowflake that wheels. is sexy you're right yeah. you do get to you do get to peek that that's for sure but yeah stopping is sexy stopping is sexy from the <laughs> from any seat that is a fact any yeah. seat in the car so that's what came off and this is what's going on Oh yeah. Yep. 
busy. Look at all the clearance up there. Oh, I see red. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I see red. Got them bear paws now. And just like that, man, we are set up wheels and brakes in the front. In the front. In the front. In the front. <laughs> How are your boys doing? As fantastic as can be. Yeah. They're good ones. So you give them you give them a ten a ten rating for the day? Yes. All right. I like it. I like <laughs> yeah. it. Okay, yeah. guys. We'll see you guys in the morning. We're gonna get some sleep and we're gonna try to crush this thing. Will we finish it tomorrow? You think? Uh, real close. We got rear end stuff. Um, got rear end fluid. Oh, uh, sealer. Oh. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, that's such a Whoa. Uh, we'll see you. All. We'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Welcome to day two. We are, I think, maybe gonna get the girl on the road today, but we'll see what happens. You don't like to count your chickens before they hatch. These boys have already got these drum brakes off by the time I got in. I had to run to the parts store this morning because the front studs actually changed to half inch studs, putting on those big disc brakes and our lug nuts didn't fit. So I went in, got the lug nuts, these boys got to work and look where they're at. Got the rear end apart and uh, you say it looks pretty good? Looks real good. There's a little bit of wear, but it's normal for the age of the vehicle. But we're getting nothing but good news here lately. Yeah. I'm liking it. Is this where we figure out what rear, what gear ratio I have in this thing? Yeah, we sure can. So back there on that pinion gear, uh huh. way back in there, we'll count the, the number of gears on that. Uh huh. And then you count the number of, of teeth on this gear. Okay. And uh, it'll give you your... My ratio. Yep. All right. A little bit of mathing. A little bit of mathing. Yep. We just got a new project that we're going to be starting on. It's a uh, 1930 Ford Model A. It's related to the Waltons TV show and it's in here for uh, some engine work and to get it uh, back to running and driving condition so the new owners can enjoy it. And they just pulled up as a matter of fact so we'll let them talk. About it. We've got a 1930 Ford Model A and uh, we are lifelong fans of the show The Waltons from the 1970s. And uh, we love John Boy Walton, and they have a bed and breakfast up in Schuyler, Virginia. That's the hometown of Earl Hamner Jr., who is the original John Boy. So he created the Waltons, and this car was John Boy's first car um, on the show. And it's not the exact car, but it is a replica of the car, and it sat out in front of the um, bed and breakfast for the five years that it existed. Our goal is to bring awareness to the show The Waltons and those old family values of The Waltons, and maybe take it out in some parades and some car shows here in town locally. This would be my job to take care of it. We have it at Callaway Customs here in uh, near Paris, Texas and we're having some motor work done to it, some cleanup work done to it, just so we can get it back on the road and, and start loving on it ourselves. Awesome, man. How's the interior? Let's take a look. It's not bad. It's oh, it's in decent, good shape. Decent shape. That's in real good shape. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. What a cool mm -hmm. car yeah, with really cool good. history. Yes. And nice. <laughs> look at that. How cool. How'd you like to go for a ride in that? Something of pretty cool significance if you'll follow me around here. Hamner license plate there from 1989. Pretty so. cool. <laughs> We've got our gear ratio. We do have our gear ratio. It's got 273s in it. We've got the highway gears. That explains why I was getting 21 miles yes, a gallon. Yes, sir. Fuel Pretty mileage. Good. We will fix that with 411s. He'll get like eight miles a gallon Big and burnouts. turn like, I don't know. 3,500 RPM at 55. That's a horrible idea. That's no, a great idea. It's a race car. Well, no, it's not. This is a touring <laughs> it's a car. Race car. So what's race car spelled backwards? I don't know. Race car. Race car. Hmm. What's race car upside down? Expensive. Expensive. <laughs> the goal is to go cross country, uh, you know, often and still have a fast, well-performing car. So y'all let me know down in the comments below what gear ratio you think I should be running it. These are installed brakes. So on scale, uh, how difficult was this project compared to what you thought? Um, it was about what I thought. Usually with 
brake kits like this are not made for a specific specific car they're made for a group of cars mm -hmm. that seemed to be the case with this one so a little bit of engineering but it worked out all good Why are turds tapered? Why? So your butthole don't slam shut. Oh <laughs> man. Yeah, dude. This Dang. is not a dad joke. We are giving it uh, basically race car alignment. Making sure the toe is about equal. So you put a straight edge on the tire. Straight edge on the other tire. Measure the front and back. Measure so over here. Yep. We got another one. We're towed in just a little bit, about eighth of an inch. I think that'll work just fine. Should be good for pre alignment. You sure that's accurate? As accurate as a tape measure gets. This uh, tape measure's kind of like my hips. I just, they don't lie, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got to say to them? <laughs> you can't say Kids, lie. What, do you, what, can you, what do you do? <laughs> Tell more bad dad jokes. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing some bear breaks today. Had a couple extra stickers, found a good spot to put one. Heck yeah. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this because I think it's on my eyebrow. What's the difference between a vitamin and a hormone? Jesus, I know this one. You can't say that on camera. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say that. You can't say that on my channel, man. All right, now we see if the brakes work. Stop it on a dime. I mean, the coolest thing is, is just watching this family work together, right? Like father, two sons in the back of their house, doing this stuff together, cutting up, making jokes. This is the american dream this is really cool this is a good reason to support a shop like this because they're doing it here because they love it because it means something to them it's not just a job it's an actual lifestyle The brakes are, they're just effortless. You push the pedal and they stop. You don't have to smash on them. They're not hard to push. Real good, real good brakes. Awesome, man. I'm excited. One thing at a time with this car, you guys. You see the interior is actually pretty good in this thing. We just got to uh, do some performance upgrades. And we're doing them one at a time here. I'm gonna do them with my boys over here at Callaway Customs. Where are you at? There you are. <laughs> And uh, I'm excited. So thank you so much. It's been test driven. It's been installed. I am good to put down some miles. Yeah. Now it's just the break-in period. Make sure we get that right. All it's right. It's lengthy, but it's worth it. Well, I think I'm going to take this girl all the way up to Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Go stay a night at my Route 62 Motor Resort. It's a really cool resort. Uh, cabins and RV spots up in Eureka Springs. A cute little town. And, uh, you know, we're kind of themed around motorcycles and cars and trucks and things like that. And I think it's a perfect break and ride for it. You guys need to come up and spend a weekend up there. You bet. Let's go. Pulling away from their shop, I realized I'm extremely excited, not just because of the new brakes on my dream car, but because the friendship I have made here in this family. It's amazing to me how much the motorcycle community and this hot rod community have in common.